So I start off with a container and I've just literally chopped up some um, sweet potato. I was too lazy to chop it with by hand. So I literally just whisked it in the Thermomix. Um, you don't have to add, you know, things that you don't like. So just change it up depending on um, what flavors you like. And sometimes just change it up so you get different flavors and combinations. Um, and then just layer it up. So layer it up with all the different flavors um, that you and your family enjoy. Um, depending on how big your container is, how many people you're feeding will depend on what ingredients you put in into your omelette. Um, but, and sometimes I even do like, leave it like that and do half and half. So if the kids don't want capsicum, we can still enjoy the capsicum and then they can have the other side. Um, but it's good for them to eat the different flavors as well. And then just make sure you spread it out. Even though when you put the egg and things on top, it'll probably move around. Um, and the eggs will depend on, um, like again, how much room is left, how many ingredients you've actually packed in. Add some cabbage. Don't add too many to their side or they might not eat it. And then I add, um, so for this one, I'm gonna add the bacon. You could add chicken, you could leave it out, but I'm gonna use my hands for this, sorry guys. So much easier and you can even use like pre-cooked bacon that you've just um, blitzed in the thermies that adds so much more flavor so just think of all the combinations of flavors that you can add and change the level of flavors by doing simple things like roasting it or um, cooking it it really changes it up um, but yeah do what you know is easy at the time um, to add all these different flavors and combinations awesome and then Oh, I'm gonna add some, these are just spring onions. I know I added onions, but spring onions are just so awesome. And then some cheese. You don't have to add cheese. I don't usually add cheese, but I am today. I'll do it on half. And then, I'm just gonna dry my hands. I've just, again, whizzed up some amazing eggs. How easy is that? And I'm literally just going to Pour it on top. So actually, I'm probably going to add another couple of eggs just to see how it's not covered. Um, I'd probably like it to be a bit more covered so it's a bit more of a solid um, omelette. I mean, a, yeah, um, um, quiche. <laughs> but um, apart from that, how awesome does it look? Cook it in the oven once it's golden brown, you're done.